Higher, faster, farther. In modern times, we are generally eager to get from A to B faster than ever before. While the high-performance airplanes and trains of the modern era have already been able to achieve remarkable speed records, the question arises, what is the limit of the speed of transportation? Would it even be theoretically possible to race through space at the speed of light? What would really happen if a solid object could move as fast as light? We'll reveal to you now in this video. Do you want to learn more about the most exciting events, discoveries, and mysteries of the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space so you'll never miss any of our posts in the future. Feel free to show us you like the content of our videos with a thumbs up. Light speed, fiction, and reality. Iconic science fiction movies like the legendary Star Wars series show how it could work. As soon as Han Solo ventures into hyperspace with his Millennium Falcon and subsequently travels at a multiple of the speed of light, the fictional character leaves millions of miles behind him within the blink of an eye, and then arrives safely and unharmed at the desired destination. Now, we know that pop cultural machinations of this kind are not necessarily suitable for providing a scientifically sound picture of the actual conditions in space. For example, many of you are probably aware that the fast-paced space battles on the big screen would in fact be accompanied by an oppressive silence and not by bombastic soundscapes. In fact, sound cannot propagate in space as it does on our home planet since the yawning emptiness there simply means that sound lacks the necessary physical guiding medium. According to Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, there is a fixed speed limit that cannot be exceeded, the speed of light. As the name of this unit of measurement indicates, it's a value that refers to the speed that light rays reach in a vacuum. Specifically, the speed of light amounts to an incredible 186,000 miles per second. As a reminder, a jumbo jet, which actually seems to us to be an incomparably fast means of transport, reaches a maximum speed of just 0.15 miles per second. In astronomical research, the speed of light is an important parameter that experts use to determine the exact distances between objects in space. It's a unit of measurement long established among experts. Scientists also use the distance that light can travel within a year. The corresponding distance is an incredible 5.9 trillion miles. If the aforementioned jumbo jet were to attempt to bridge the corresponding distance, it would need no less than 1.2 million years to do so. The attempt to accelerate a solid object to the speed of light, however, turns out to be a practically impossible undertaking. In fact, only massless particles and electromagnetic radiation can travel at the speed of light. But why is that? why we cannot travel at the speed of light. To answer this question, we must draw upon relativity theory again. According to this theory, the mass of an object is always directly related to the speed at which it moves through space. It doesn't matter at all whether it is a tiny elementary particle or a huge airplane, since the mass of an object is always dependent on its speed. This means in the reverse conclusion that mass becomes ever larger the more the speed of the object increases. The energy required to accelerate an object is also directly related to the mass of the body. The heavier a structure is, the more energy must be used to increase its speed. This constantly increasing energy requirement, which would be necessary to accelerate a massive structure to the speed of light, can simply not be guaranteed. If a passenger airplane were to reach about 75% of the speed of light, it would already possess 1.5 times its original mass due to the law of physics. At 99% of the speed, it would already be seven times heavier than before. The further one approaches the targeted speed of light, the more rapid would be the increase in the energy required to continue accelerating the object. In other words, this would mean that the corresponding energy demand would practically converge towards infinity when reaching the speed of light. Thus, it would formally take infinite energy to propel a physical entity at the speed of light, and providing the required energy 
on an infinite scale is simply impossible. Approaching the speed of light. Let us now assume that we at least succeeded in building a spaceship that reaches 90% of the speed of light. This circumstance would entail in theory some amazing concomitants. According to this, time for the person in the spaceship would pass perceptibly more slowly than for someone not traveling through space at the speed of light. In this case, the person traveling at the speed of light would experience a period of 10 minutes, while the corresponding value for a person not moving at that speed would be 20 minutes. Time would be shortened for the space traveler in this case by half. In addition, the field of vision for the astronaut would change drastically. What he would see during his flight would be a tunnel-shaped window in front of the cockpit of his spaceship, in which the surrounding stars would pass by in glistening red and blue tones. The reason for this is that the light waves of the celestial bodies in front of the astronaut would be optically compressed due to the intense speed of the spaceship. This circumstance would make the objects appear blue. The light waves of those stars spread out behind the spacecraft would present themselves in a red color due to the Doppler effect. As soon as a certain speed limit was exceeded, the light waves would finally lie outside the visible spectrum, at which point nothing but a vast blackness would present itself to the observer. In addition to these breathtaking circumstances, however, the potential approach to the speed of light also entails some serious risks. The faster we moved, the more dangerous would be the small space particles that collided with the spacecraft during such a rapid maneuver. These would quickly become threatening projectiles that could bring the theoretical flight to an abrupt end. Should it be possible one day to bring the speed of a projectile closer to the speed of light, the construction of special protective shields would be indispensable. Further Problems Let's imagine that mankind actually succeeded in constructing a spaceship that would approach the speed of light to a fabulous 99.9%. .9%. Renowned space agencies might then strive to reach the world-famous double star system Alpha Centauri. As is known, these celestial bodies are located in the constellation of the Centaur, a good four light years away from our blue home planet, with the speed of the spaceship approximating the speed of light. It would thus take approximately four years before the astronauts reaching the goal point of their galactic journey. A person moving over a period of four years at the approximate speed of light experiences a subjective span of just 14 days. Due to the associated time dilation, in other words, the fact that the faster an object moves in space, the slower time passes, on Earth not 14 days, but a full four years would pass. Provided that the means of communication of the future would allow it, the exchange of information between the astronaut crew and the earthly facilities would be subject to extreme delays. In fact, a message transmitted from Alpha Centauri would also take four years before finally reach the communication centers on Earth. The Future of Propulsion Technologies While the example just presented is still a purely fictitious idea, the question remains open as to how the propulsion technologies of spaceships will develop in reality. This is also the topic that physicist Philip Lubin has been devoting himself to for several years. Together with his colleagues at the University of California, the scientist is looking for new ways to rapidly accelerate future space projects. The researchers believe that the key to this lies in photon propulsion. The corresponding spacecraft should be propelled by an incomparably powerful laser for practically the entire flight. Very light space probes could reach 25% of the speed of light with this technology. The corresponding speed would therefore be about 47,000 miles per second. By way of comparison, New Horizons once left our planet at a speed of just about 10 miles per second. However, the larger the spacecraft, the lower the maximum speed that could be generated with the help of photon propulsion. Nevertheless, large manned ships would still have a remarkable speed of 621 miles per second. In the case of the previously mentioned star system Alpha Centauri, an unmanned space probe would need about 20 years for its flight. In fact, the mode of operation of a laser propulsion system differs significantly from the systems currently in use, which rely on the recoil principle. The rockets generate their thrust by burning fuel, 
and emitting gases that accelerate the spacecraft. A photon drive, meanwhile, would involve several powerful lasers circling our home planet. These would then be aligned with the corresponding spacecraft. This spacecraft would be equipped with a gigantic sail, which would reflect most of the incoming laser light. The photons would meanwhile transfer an impulse to the sail construction and thus accelerate it. However, it will probably be many years before this futuristic concept can actually be put into practice. We hope that we've been able to provide you with some exciting information in this video. We're already looking forward to your comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.